In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to save yourselves from your own brain. What is up guys? Coming back at you from Owensboro, Kentucky. I'm out here for a job that I'm doing at my, uh, my work. So as you can see, that right there is the Ohio River. You can see there's a bridge right down there. Pretty nice out here. But I wanted to make this video for you guys because I've just watched an amazing video by Mel Robbins. If you don't know Mel Robbins, you need to get to know her. I'll put a video um, link in the description. But in this video, she teaches you how to basically unlock your brain and to save yourself from making decisions that your brain makes for you and you don't even know it. So the basis for this whole argument that she proposes is your brain does not like uncomfortable, uncertain, or th basically things that you don't know what's gonna happen, your brain tries to save you from it. So whether it's good or bad, your brain automatically puts you into panic mode so that when you try to make those decisions, it spirals your, your thoughts out of control. And basically the end result is you just getting out of there and you not wanting to think about uh, making a decision. So let me just give you a quick example that she gives that I think is so powerful. How many of you guys have ever told yourself, hey, I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow morning and go to the gym? Or, hey, tomorrow's gonna be the day that I call that really important person that I need to make a phone call about. Um, but when the day comes and when you wake up the next morning and you first hear that alarm clock go off, you say, you think about it and you sit there for a second and you say, oh no, I can't do this. No, I'm, I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow. And you don't make the decision. And what is actually happening there is when you first wake up, the thought comes into your head while you're waking up, you're gonna go to the gym. Then she says that you have five seconds to make a decision and actually get up and take action. Otherwise, if you wait longer than five seconds, your brain automatically talks you out of it and says, oh, you know, you could be doing something else right now, sleeping is better. And it basically just talks you out of doing that thing. And she gives a really, really neat trick on how to counteract this. In those moments, count backwards from five. So in your head, or say it out loud, literally, five, four, three, two, one. And then in your brain, it actually changes from the emotional side of your brain and goes to your prefrontal cortex and makes you start to think. It's not your brain making unconscious decisions that are based on a behavior loop, loop that you've ingrained into your brain over time. Um, it's, it's putting it in the front of your uh, prefrontal cortex. So if you guys do that and go five, four, three, two, one, and actually make a commitment and say, okay, and jump out of bed, once you're out of bed, it's fine. You know what you need to do. It's just those few seconds right after you wake up or those few seconds right before you're about to make a really big decision that you have to do that thing. And she gives a really good example of how she, she speaks in front of thousands of people. And when she's about to go on stage, she gets really, really nervous and she gets anxiety like most people would in that situation. And she said the way that she counteracts it is she counts down from five. And what that does is it stops her from her thoughts spiraling out of control. What your brain does is it basically gives you anxiety and then there's a feedback loop where you're anxious and then in your mind, you, your mind basically goes to the absolute worst possible scenario that could happen and it convinces you to think about really bad thoughts. Oh, people are gonna boo me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess up all my words. I'm gonna freeze. And then you start to believe those things and then it's just a never ending feedback of you thinking the thoughts and then you actually believing them and then it goes back and forth until you have a panic attack. And that is actually how panic attacks um, happen. Next time you have to make a really big decision or even just a small decision to wake up early in the morning, do that thing, five, four, three, two, one, and jump out of bed. So I hope this helped you guys. I know it helped me. Um, I'm out here in Owensboro, Kentucky, just living life. I'm happy to make this video, and I hope you guys took some value out of this. Uh, I'm gonna keep coming back with videos like this, but this is just a short one because I'm on the road. But yeah, I hope you guys take care and absolutely crush this weekend and crush the week, and yeah, take care, bye.